Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sweto. Oh my goodness, wrong channel. The Cheryl Technology Channel. This is your host Chris, and I am back with another video. This time, we are doing Pop OS Linux. Pop OS, as a matter of fact, a very good company, a very good operating system. And in this video, I want to show you a little more than I did in the Ubuntu video. This one. I love Pop! OS. It is like one of the best operating systems I have ever seen in my life. It is very good. And I really hope that y'all like this video and that you will, uh, that you will do, uh, that you will like this because it is a good video. Okay. If you would do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, like this video and, uh, make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications when I release videos. Okay, y'all, let's get into this. Thank you for watching. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do today. Uh, we're gonna go into my mainstream here and we're gonna look at this. So a little bit about the history of, of uh, Pop! OS. It was developed by a company in, uh, it's built off of Ubuntu, in case nobody knew that. It's built off of Ubuntu. It was, uh, it is a distribution of Ubuntu or like a, a sub branch of Ubuntu. It has um, Ubuntu like stuff, except I believe it's 10 times better than Ubuntu. Now a little bit about the history. If you look here, see it's based on Ubuntu right here. Uh, it features a GNOME desktop, which we did that in the Ubuntu video. I went into a, that a little bit. Uh, it's d developed now right here. The distribution is developed by system 76. They are a company here. Let's just look them up. We look them up right here. They're a company out of Denver. They are located. If we scroll down right here. Oh, come on. Where is it about us? There you go. Then we scroll down to the bottom where, the, okay. It was showing up before they're out of Denver anyway. So here's their, uh, <clears throat> their webpage, their, their thing, their, uh, their website. So if we look, so now you, right now you can, I love this company. I've actually talked to this company personally, directly about their stuff. And I really, really like them. They're very nice. They're very good. They will do full support for AMD, Nvidia, GPUs, and I can testify they will work with either one. I have used it. Okay, so right now, um, so you have default disk encryption. Maybe at some point I'll do a video on how to install it, the installation process, all of the things that it can do, the things it can't do, but it can do most everything. This thing is very good. So um, uh, if we look, our first release was 1710 right here. And that was 2017 is when they developed it, when the commencement started of development. Now, that that's a pretty long time ago. And it, it's it's not, and see, a lot of people say that it's like an Ubuntu lookalike, like that saying that it's it looks a lot like Ubuntu. Well, it does because it's built off of it, but it's not Ubuntu. It is right here, right here, right here. Uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, oh, right here. System 76 isn't merely taking Ubuntu and slapping a different name on it. They, it's different. It's completely different. It is much better. I like the environment better. I like how really, how really good it is. It is very good. Now, this leads me to my next, my absolute next part of this video, and that is the differences between right here, Ubuntu and Pop! OS. So y'all let me know in the comments which one you think is better. I think, I think Pop! OS is better. I think it looks better. I think it has better functionality. I believe it is better in terms of its operability, its ease of use. It's fast, it's snappy, and we're going to look at some of this in just a few minutes. So it says that it's, uh, so it's, is it just a reskinned? Uh, it, it has been designed with vibrant colors, yes. But it is done, it's a lot different than Ubuntu. It's a lot different. Now, the installer process I can tell you is really good. So I probably need to do a video next on the installation process. Probably. I think that would be good for y'all to see that because it is a really good operating system. 
So 1904, well, they're up to like 2004 right now. They've got good privacy. I mean, you can see it. It's just different, man. The, the way that it looks is different. The way that it operates is different. There's a lot of things that are different. I mean, um, so right here, let's see. Uh, if you look at this, uh, so they... I mean, you really have to use it to understand the differences between the two. You really have to use it. It, it is it is not a pro. I encourage all of you. That's what my channel is about, man. Teaching y'all how to do things, right? To give you hope that you have the ability to do it, that you can. I, I want. I don't want you to merely just watch my videos just to watch them. I want you to try it for yourself. Learn something new. That's what I'm encouraging y'all to do. So let's get into this a little further. Now we're going to look at the actual operating system, okay? I have it up right here. Okay, let's make this window big, and then we will put my password in. I've already installed it. Again, I am inst I installed this in, uh, in um, what do you call it, VMware Workstation Player because I like VMware. It is a very good uh, operating system, or a very good uh, virtualization software. Oh, by the way. If you don't have coffee, here it is. Oh, thanks to Jonathan for the cup, by the way. Now let's get into this. Okay, the first thing I want y'all to see is the workflow. So the workflow of this operating system is very good. So what you're going to do if you really, if you want to see the application launcher, press the Windows key. Okay, on the left side here, you have your application launcher. On the right side, you have your workspace viewer. Now, in a minute, we're going. I'm going to show you a lot more about this because this is very, very important and very easy to use. It's very fast. It's quick. It's snappy. It does the job. If I were to switch away from Windows to Linux, this is the operating system I would use personally because I like it. It's just functionally, it's just a better OS. Now, okay, let's say that you want to... Um, if you go to the click the activities, you can also click the activities right here. You can click this activities button or the text here and it will open the launcher. So let's do that again. So if you or you can click it to close it. So you click that. So Windows key or click the activities text. Either one of those works. Okay? On the right side, this is your workspace viewer, right? On the left, it's your application launcher. Now, let's see what happens when I do this. So let's let's say um, you don't you don't know what you're looking for. Let's say you'd like I don't want to go down here and click this little waffle iron. Well, let's type in OBS because that's one of the applications I installed. It is native to this. It is in the Pop Shop, which we'll get into later. So if you click this, now watch what happens right here. Okay, that is OBS. Now I want y'all to notice something very peculiar. You notice there's around this, around the whole window, see it? Oh, look, it's picking up my mic too. Look at that. Look, you see it? So around the window, there's a little gap. You see it? All the way around, you can see the green right here. I don't know why they did that. It just makes it look cleaner. You know where the window's at. You know what you're looking at now. The other thing I want to show y'all, okay, let's open another, let's open something else. Let's, uh, let's say, let's open VLC. Now, okay, I want y'all to notice something, right? If you look, it, it did something that you just don't notice, right? It took the windows and halved them. It went automatic. I didn't do that. It automatically did that. See, that, that's what I love about, about Pop! OS is that it does things automatically. It's very smooth. It's very clean. And that's what it did. It did this. I didn't make it do this. It did this all by itself. Now, let's close this window, right? So I'm showing you all the, the tiling and stuff right now. So let's open, I'll tell you what, let's open another. Oh, now here's the interesting part. Now, if you look, you have the option to check either one of these, or you can go to the workspace switcher and open another workspace. This is a workspace. See, if I do this, this is a workspace right here. 
So if you look at that screen right there, these are workspaces. This whole screen, this whole desktop environment is like a virtualized, it is a virtual workspace, right? So let's click this. And if we click that activities button or let's click the, home, the windows button, either way, that's, that's really simple. And then, okay, let's say we want to create another desktop. Then we just click that like that. It's very, very quick. Let's click back up and then we'll click that. See, so all you're doing is basically clicking that, then left clicking the window and left clicking on the desktop. And it actually does everything for you. So that is very sweet, y'all. What do y'all think about that? That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Um, so now I want to I want to show you how to add an application to the favorites bar. Let's go here. This is the best thing ever, man. It is so easy. So all we got to do, right click, add to favorites, and it adds the, the icon on the launcher. Did y'all see that? That was crazy simple. Man, I, I'm telling you, this is like the best operating system I've ever used. It is 10 times better than Windows will ever be. But my camera, that's the problem. My camera won't work with it. I, I can't get it to find my camera. There's a whole process to do it, but I'm not going to do all that. Okay, now let's close these two windows and let's open um, the pop shop. Now, the pop shop, just to let y'all know, is the, the place where you get applications, right? So they have Steam Native, Telegram Desktop, that's an email. Slack, which is a like a messaging uh, a messaging app. Lutris, which is for playing games on Linux. It's like a like an inve a virtual environment. They've got Chromium. I mean, they've got everything, dude. This is like one of the best operating systems ever made. They have really taken the time. And I do know that on their machines, they have a they have created their own BIOS. That's what the guy told me on the phone. This is about a, almost a year ago. He told me that. So, um, so you can search for apps up here in this little bar. See it right here? Or you can just go down here and search by category. See, there's categories. See them? Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Let's click the games one. All right. So they've got like a lot of games, man. I mean, holy moly. There's like tons of them, y'all. Now you notice, okay, do y'all notice how snappy and quick that is? I am recording on this machine, right? I am recording on this machine while, while I am doing this on a, in a virtual environment with the virtualization running on the same machine. I'm hitting 60 frames a second all day, every day. I love it, man. This is, this is awesome. So now the auto tiling, which we talked about, is where you can take and you do this and then you open up this app and then it will divide, it'll automatically tile them out. It goes, it tiles them out and puts them right beside each other. Now let's see what happens if I open a third app. Let's see what happens if I open a third one. So let's do this. Let's open this one. Let's open the that. Ooh, look at that. So it auto tiles in halves first, and then it, ha it auto tiles in quarters. So it's, it's four quadrants on the screen. It'll do four quadrants. Now I'm not sure. Let's just look and see. Let's open that too. Why not? Oh, look at that. Woo. It does eights too. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Y'all. So I wanted y'all to see all that now. Y'all, I think that's about the end of the video. I have told y'all about everything I know about it. And I mean, it is a solid, 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 listen to me, solid OS. It is very good. It works with almost anything. I have never had a problem with it crashing. I've never had a problem with it not working. It just works. So y'all, this is your host, Chris from the Cheryl Technology Channel. Thank y'all for watching. And until the next video, may the Lord bless you. Thank y'all for watching. Until the next one. Bye, y'all.